to? Do you like to have dessert? Just from working with people one-on-one, -on -one, I've noticed that it's, you know, a common theme. People like to have dessert. And there's a bad reputation around dessert in general, where if you have any type of dessert, then you're not going to be able to achieve your wellness goals. But that's not true. I have actually seen that you can incorporate some desserts and still achieve your wellness goals. So I'm going to be going over six desserts that you can incorporate and still be able to achieve your wellness goals in today's video. All right, guys, if you're new to my channel, my name's Autumn, and I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's in nutrition human performance. On my channel, I'm typically talking about science-backed and holistic information that you can use to achieve your wellness goals and feel amazing at the same time. And part of that is including desserts in your life because life is also meant to be enjoyed, right? Now, all these desserts are going to be lower in sugar, and that's a really key component of these desserts because in order to achieve your goals, especially if you are participating in the summer intermittent fasting challenge going on right now, you do want to reduce sugar as much as possible. But it doesn't mean the dessert can't be good, especially as your taste buds start to evolve and you start to actually be able to taste like real sweet stuff again, not like the hyper sweet things that are in a lot of processed foods. All right, let's jump straight into these desserts. Now the first one is one of my favorites. This is the grain-free peanut butter and chocolate chip cookie. Now I've talked about this cookie before in the past. It's amazing. It really only has a few ingredients, peanut butter and chocolate being some of the main ones. Can't really go wrong. Now there is some honey added to this or maple syrup if you are vegan, but a lot less than what you would typically add into like a normal cookie. So if you are following the summer intermittent fasting challenge, make sure you head over to the level up guide for the full recipe. For my newbies on here, I'll have the whole recipe down below as like a little sneak peek for you guys on what you guys can have during the summer intermittent fasting challenge. It's pretty amazing. But this is one of my favorite desserts because it does feel like you're having like an actual cookie, but it is lower in sugar and you still get the chocolate involved. So it's really satisfying as a result. Plus, since it doesn't contain grains or a lot of sugar, you actually get satiated from these cookies where you don't feel like you need to have a bunch in order to have that sweet tooth be satisfied. Okay, number two. This will seem so basic, but once your taste buds have really adapted back to the way they should be, where you weren't overloaded with sugar from a lot of processed foods, but just having actual fruit at dessert. I mean, this is what I had learned about when I was studying abroad, and at first I was like, <laughs> okay, fruit, like, that's not a dessert. But when you have like really high quality fruit, so things like raspberries or blueberries or strawberries, and they're in season, they really do taste amazing. And it's a natural sugar where you're going to have higher amounts of fiber. So it's not just like a rush to your system where you're going to have these spikes and falls in blood glucose levels that can lead to also simultaneously a high spike in your insulin, which is something that you don't want, especially if weight loss is one of your main goals. So I mean, it's summer. It's a perfect time to get some really high quality fruit. I personally have been having a couple times a week, a cup of raspberry that's always been my favorite. Okay, number two, probiotic rich yogurt with cacao nibs. Oh my gosh, this is like one of my favorite things. Have you guys tried GT Dave's, um, what is it? The coconut yogurt that he has? So it's really low in sugar. I think it's just made out of like coconut meat and a little bit of coconut water and then it's fermented. So it's like a tart, sweet type of probiotic rich yogurt. <laughs> I've been getting the raspberry one where they do add a little bit of raspberries in there. So it has like a raspberry flavor. You guys can see that raspberries are clearly my favorite fruit. And then adding in cacao nibs to it gives it like a really good crunch. And cacao nibs are surprisingly high in fiber. So it also really satiates you. So that's one of the goals with a lot of these different types of desserts is that you also want it to be satiating so that you aren't just continuously craving more and more. Now, I'm not sponsored at all by the GT Dave's coconut yogurt, but it's just one that I found that's actually high quality and it doesn't contain a bunch of emulsifiers and all of those other things. So it gets the A and seal of approval. Okay. All right, number three dark chocolate. And I'm talking about at least 72% dark chocolate. This also will be lower in sugar. I'd recommend, you know, up to half bar, I guess really depending on the size, but you know, about an ounce, ounce and a half, that'll be enough to satisfy that sugar craving, but it's just bitter enough too, where you don't want to have too much, you know, where you actually get satisfied and don't need to have more. So some brands that I really like, one is Hue, another is Ch Chow Chua Chocolatier. I can't pronounce it, but it's gonna be right here. All right, number four. Speaking of chocolate, chocolate bomb bites. Now this is one of the probably most underutilized and underappreciated recipe within the 21 day intermittent fasting program, but it's one that is so good. It's just like these little chocolate bites that are made out of like cacao butter and a little bit of chocolate and they're just so good. And since it does contain some fat, it really does help to keep you satiated. So you don't need a ton of them. Guys, for my AM peeps who have not tried this yet, homework, make it this weekend, have it be part of your next week's summer intermittent fasting challenge meal plan. You guys are gonna love it. It's really great for satisfying the sweet tooth. All right, and number five, homemade sugar-free whipped cream with berries. If that doesn't sound amazing to you, then 
I don't even, I don't even know. So real homemade whipped cream doesn't actually even have any sugar. You can literally take grass fed heavy whipping cream and just either blend it in your blender or get one of those like old school hand blenders, which is what I have. Whip it up for like 60 seconds or so, maybe even less depending on how much you're using. And that's it. And it's done. It's super simple, super amazing. And pairing that with a, some of that fresh farmer's market fruit that I mentioned earlier, so good. And it's so much better for you than getting the type of spray or, you know, the one that's in the tubs. I don't even know what it's called, but any of those which are actually just packed with sugars and make it so that you just need to eat more and more. Now, this is actually one of my favorite desserts because it is just so, it feels so decadent, but it's just real food. I do have a recipe in this. I believe it's in the level up guide, but I can't remember. So it is in the complete intermittent fasting bundle. So my A and peeps can go check it out, but Really, it's just taking some grass-fed heavy whipping cream, blending it up until it's fluffy, and that's it. So you'll see with all these recipes, there's a common theme, and it's just real food. Real food that is low in sugar. Now, throughout this video, you heard me mention the Summer Intermittent Fasting Challenge. Now, if you want to join in, it's not too late. It's already been going on, but you know we're all welcome. We're all here to help support your goals and help you feel amazing. With the Summer Intermittent Fasting Challenge, we're using the Complete Intermittent Fasting Bundle. Plus, you can join in on the private AN Facebook group, where everyone is really great at supporting each other's goals. It's actually pretty incredible how all the AN peeps are joining together to support one another's goals. So it's an amazing source of accountability, amazing place to nerd out on nutrition as well. So if you wanna join in on the Summer Intermittent Fasting Challenge, just make sure you click that link that's in the description down below. Also, if you're brand new to my channel, make sure you subscribe right here. Come out with new videos on how you can feel amazing every Tuesday and Thursday. All right guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Let me know in the comments below which dessert you'll be trying and I'll see you guys in my next video.